to go ahead and get our meeting started tonight. Uh, I don't think you folks realize what a, what a great pleasure it is to have so many people here tonight. Uh, it's really exciting and we're glad that you took the time to be here. Uh, we're going to start the meeting with the invocation and Mary Pro Tem Mason is going to lead us in the invocation. Father God, we give you thanks and praise for this beautiful day. We thank you for the moisture that you sent to this dry land. Thank you for your perfect timing and for the perfect days that you send them. Father God, we lift up this meeting up to you, Father. We ask for your guidance and for your direction. And we ask for special blessings upon this community of Muleshoe and its citizens and all the families and everyone who's a part of this wonderful community. We ask that you protect the men and women who fight for our freedom every single day. And we thank you for those who have served in the past. We thank you for the work that they've done and the love of the country that they have. May we all share that love. And Father God, also lift up our young people in this community. Guide their steps, Father God, as we help to guide them as well. And it's in your name that we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Let the record show that we have a quorum tonight, and we'll officially call a meeting to order. If you'll all join me, we'll have the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. It is at this time in our meeting that we're always glad to welcome visitors and receive public comment. Once again, I'd like to thank everybody for being here tonight. Uh, it's great that the staff could all be here, and it's exciting that the, that the Youth Advisory Council is here. We have lost some faces from last year, and we have gained some really good new faces for next year, and we're all excited about that. And we really do appreciate the parents being here with you tonight in, uh, in support of Youth Advisory Council. Uh, if there's anyone that would like to make public comment right now, we'll open the floor for that. If not, we're going to go ahead and, and get started, and uh, Mayor Tro Pro Tem Mason is going to introduce the new Youth Advisory Council. Yes, thank you, Mayor. I'm very excited to start our fifth year with the Youth Advisory Council, so at this time I'd like to introduce our new members, and I'd like for them to step up here so they can take their oath of office. Serving as our YAC Mayor, Kayla Preston. Mayor Pro Tem, Adriana Loya. Council Member Jacob Kettner, Council Member Cassidy Cage, Council Member Larry Adams, City Manager Christian Mora, City Secretary Mackenzie Zimmerman, Assistant City Manager Yvette Elizalde, and Police Chief Blaine Shipman. This is our 2014-2015 City of Muleshoe Youth Advisory Council. Okay, I'll now administer the oath of office to the Youth Advisory Council, so if you would repeat after me, raise your right hands. I, and state your name. I, I do, name. do solemnly swear. Swear that I will faithfully execute the duties of the office of Youth Advisory Council of, of, Youth Advisory Council, of the City of Muleshoe, of the City of Muleshoe and, and will to the best of my ability preserve Sure. Protect, 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 and defend, and defend the, Constitution, the Constitution and laws of the United States and the laws of the United States and of this state. And of this state. So help me God. So, so help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> Again, I want to thank 
thank all the parents, grandparents, uncles, aunts, cousins, nieces, nephews, everybody for being here. It's, uh, it's really nice to have you. And we're really excited about the new Youth Advisory Council and we hope that you will give them all the support that you can. And uh, it's really a pleasure for us to get to work with you. We're going to go ahead and uh, start our meeting. And uh, the first thing on our agenda is the approval of the minutes from the council meeting of July 14th. I trust you've all reviewed those minutes and I'll make a motion that we approve those. Second. We have a second. Is there any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Motion carries. Next thing we'd like to do is to consider reimbursements of receipts for the Mioshu Heritage Foundation Tour de Mioshu from Hotel Motel Tax Funds. And uh, I believe they submitted receipts of $2,400. Staff reviewed those and you came up with uh, $1,456.57. Okay, and those receipts meet our criteria. And we had approved up to $2,000. Okay, do I have a motion to uh, approve those receipts? So moved. Second. And we have a second. Is there any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Motion carries. Next thing we'd like to do is to consider ordinance number 0471-0814, which is a franchise ag agreement with Atmos Energy. David, I'm going to let you review that. The uh, current franchise agreement that the city has with Atmos Energy expires in October of this year. Uh, this agreement is, is essentially the same agreement. It, it's a five-year agreement for a 5% franchise tax on growth receipts that Atmos receives. I think Slater's reviewed this uh, ordinance. Hi, this is one of those times where y'all get the benefit of us representing multiple cities. Um, we spent a lot of time and effort working on this agreement um, with one of your neighbors in Atmos and, and finally got to what we think is a good agreement for both sides. And so when they sent it to David, they told David, you know, it's, it's what was negotiated up the road. We looked at it. We think it's a good agreement. And to the extent you care, we would recommend uh, going and starting the process of passing it. Sounds good. Anybody have any questions about the agreement? Okay, I'll make a motion that we approve that franchise agreement. <coughs> second. We have a second. Is there any other discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Motion carries. Next thing we'd like to do is to consider a recommendation from the Mioshu Economic Development Corporation Board of Directors for a loan or grant to evolve for business expansion. Casey, I'm going to let you talk to us a little bit about that, if you would, sure. please. Thank you to the council for letting me come and speak with you again. Um, evolve Enterprises is an advertising apparel business right there on Main Street. And they've come to us looking to um, expand their business and be able to grow. They've seen some tremendous growth, and a lot of that has been from uh, businesses that are outside of the Muleshoe trade area, which means that's brand new dollars in the Muleshoe economy. So um, we have visited with them extensively and also formed a due diligence committee to review their financials and their credit worthiness. And what we are proposing is a $75,000 loan incentive package. Um, up to $22,500 would be available for forgiveness if they meet some criteria with some full-time jobs. How many full-time jobs? They're looking to add three right now. Um, so, and with that money, they would directly buy a new machine, which will increase their production do some new software, some website design, and buy the building that they're in now. It's exciting to have a business that's growing yes. in the city. And, and I think they have a lot of initiative and they, they um, really want to do some good things for Mule Street. They really do. And it's a great thing to have. That's what we want is, you know, for the, our businesses to grow and, and to expand. So thank you for that report. Anybody else have any questions? 
not. Uh, open the floor for a, a motion. I'll make a motion to approve the request from the MEDC. Also. Uh, and we have a second. Is there any other questions or discussion? Not. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Motion carried. Would like to receive the financial statement for the month ending July 31st. And uh, I trust you've all reviewed that. I'll make a motion that we approve that financial statement. Second. And we have a second. Is there any questions? Not. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carried. That brings us to the administrative reports. And David, I'm going to let you talk about those things. Thanks, Mayor. Just have a couple of things. TML will be holding a small cities problem solving clinic in Littlefield on uh, August the 29th. If you haven't had the chance to, to make one of those or get the chance to go to this one, those are really some good uh, workshops. It's local folks with local problems and local issues that, that we can talk about. And DML have some attorneys here. It's, it's really a good program. Um, you'll let me or Leanne one know, we'll get you registered for that. The, the other thing I've got, the Youth Advisory Council will be doing moving in the park again on Thursday night, the 14th, this week. Be showing secondhand line, you know, the great movie, popcorn, candy, <laughs> drinks, and mosquito spray. That's all I've got. All right. Well, thank you. I think Irene's got some wants to plug the movie in the park. Yes, most definitely. It's been a great, great event, and so I, I just the city of Milch has been just extremely supportive of the Youth Advisory Council and, and our I love my city events. That's one of the goals of our youth council, not only to learn about city government, but to have events that bring the community together so that we can get to know each other even further. And so this is a great place to be. It's a blessing to be here. And I, I'm just excited. We're starting our fifth year. So who knew? So it's, it's been extremely, extremely successful. And I just want to thank everyone for their, their support. And for those of you that have not ever seen that movie, you need to go watch it. And those that have seen it, you need to go watch it again. Watch it again. <laughs> I've seen it about 15 times, and it ends up the same way. <laughs> it's a really funny and it's a cool movie. Okay. Uh, does the council have anything they'd like to say? I'm excited that Colt Ellis will be attending the newly elected conference this week. I will be working there, so I'm thrilled that Colt will be able to participate in that. And I do want to let everyone know that I finished my leadership academy the week after that. So they said we will be graduating. I haven't graduated from anything in years, so that's pretty exciting. Okay. Next thing we have is a budget workshop. And I will warn everybody that this is pretty it's not real exciting, and, and, and I will thank you again for being here, and if there's anyone that would like to, uh, I think we'll take about a five minute break before we start the, the workshop, so we can, uh, if you would like to uh, find something else to do, you're sure welcome to. If you want to stay for the budget workshop, you're sure welcome to. So we're going to take about a five minute break.